Welcome back. Last time we were at the pirate party. Now we're heading for the Turks and Caicos in the Bahamas. Across the Turks and Caicos bank, out to Mayaguana, up to Acklands and Calabash Bay. And then of course we're on a mission to get to Marsh Harbour to meet our son, who in the end didn't manage to make it. But this is it. Hope you like it. The wind wasn't on our side when we left, so we ducked into White Bay at the end of the BVI, dodging customs, and spent a couple of days there until the wind filled in, and then it was time to go. Again. Still in White Bay, almost exclusively full of charter boats. And I've been reading recently that you can get about an 8%, in fact, guaranteed 8% return if you spend half a million or three quarters of a million on one of these. Give it to the charter company for three to five years, and bingo, at the end, you get a free boat. What they don't tell you is that charterers seem to treat them like rental cars. You might remember I wrote that I felt that the Caribbean was full. Well, here we are in White Bay one of the loveliest little beaches in the BVI and if you can you go in behind the reef there and anchor among the crowds I mean it's like a Tesco or a Home Depot car park on a bank holiday but it's still very pleasant and all we need is a bit of wind so we can get out of here and go west, young man. What a great day for sailing. A long time since we've seen this guy. A bit too close for the code D, so code zero it is. 254 miles to go. Green flash coming up. Looking a bit green already. Second green flash in a month. Wow. Okay, that's it. Off to bed. What a great day for a Caribbean cruise. The Disney fantasy. Either well polished or quite new. Look who came for lunch. Huh? Eh? Just don't take a poop. Don't turn on the fan, you'll get decapitated. He's a long way from land, isn't he? It's gorgeous, but what's he doing near a hundred miles from the land? Oh, you're going to play the guitar. Where am I? Oh, weird. Like Adele. Change your music. Well, good morning. Here's us in Turks and Caicos land. All beaches, limestone rock, and shallow waters. 
and not a breath for the last 12 hours. So we just got to go do the check-in thing. And this is us about three quarters of a mile off the Turks and Caicos bank and we're in about 1,000 metres of water. And this is us in the bank and we're in about three metres of water for the next 50 miles. Do you smell burning? went the cry. Clouds of steam out the back and this morning the broken impellers. So see it but that's South Caicos back there flat as a pancake so we're on our way to either Marsh Harbour at the top of the Bahamas or Charleston South Carolina so we'll see what the wind does jeez that's one big sail looks good for eight knots right now so that'll keep us going Mayaguana Island in the Bahamas and this is Abraham's Bay. This is one of three islands of part of Aguana, the home of Morton Salt, the, one of the biggest solar saline sources in the northern hemisphere. It means it's a lot of salt. And this is the drying season because the sun's directly overhead and don't I know it because we are both burned to a frazzle. Here's the anchor. There's the chain. Now the normal practice here for Caribbean cruisers is to put on a pair of fins and hurl yourself over the side. But you don't see many people doing that in Scotland. I much prefer the 2000 revs in reverse technique. So that's us inside the reef for the night. Right, where's the beer? We got the Code D pulling duty as a spinnaker this afternoon. Going along quite nicely. It's going to be a 90 mile day, dawn till dusk, which is pretty good. Not that you get to see much of the Bahamas that way, right enough, but we're covering the ground. So what have we done today? We left at six o'clock in the morning. So left at six o'clock. And we dropped the D and put up the solar. Work, work, work. Did you do that? Yeah, bit? I forgot to say what it was. Yeah. We really dropped the D and the Z. Work, work, work. Thank you for that. And as usual, the group files, which are saying 15 knots. Yeah, in your dreams. Approximation is blown like stink, as always. 
but at least we're doing nine knots which we need because it's another 70 or 80 mile day. There's a reef between here and the island, turquoise water, and we're going to anchor in there. Oh, there's two more yachts in there. And we somehow get through this reef. So after a 10 hour day, the 83 miles covered today, a lot of wind, a lot of waves. We're in Calabash Bay at the top of Long Island and we're anchored off apparently one of the most beautiful beaches in the whole of the Bahamas and the Cape Santa Maria Resort. If you've made it this far, well done. We're on our way to Taylor's Creek in Beaufort, North Carolina. Come along for the ride. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Next section is a fairly uneventful Taylor's Creek to Gary and Greta's in Norfolk. See you soon.